Objective accomplished. Commander, you have recovered the Synaptic Link technology. Initial research has confirmed that it will be of great benefit to the project. The Synaptic Link was developed by the Reed Corporation in conjunction with the U.S. military. The Synaptic Link allows for almost instantaneous transfer of thought from human operators to vehicle control and guidance systems. The Synaptic Link is fitted into the base of the skull circling the spinal column. The Link has a high-speed data transfer port that plugs into any computer system. More importantly, the development of the Synaptic Link made the creation of cyborgs possible. Early attempts at power suits for individual soldiers failed as they proved to be slow and unresponsive. The Synaptic Link allowed soldiers to be placed in power suits that they controlled as easily as their own bodies. Power suits allowed infantry to function effectively on the battlefields of the 21st century. Unfortunately, this technology has fallen into the hands of the new paradigm. It is imperative that you research and develop synaptic link technologies. Briefing commences. Commander, we are detecting enemy forces approaching from the east as well as the north. Hold the bases and repulse any attacks. Mission timer activated. The first thing to do is break up this unit congestion at the landing zone. Use whatever series of clicks you want, but by the end of it, you will want your fast trucks here. Enemy transport detected. Your artillery group heading down to the south, your landing group for the next stage sitting on the LZ, and the rest of your MBG, including the commander, sitting just south of factory number three. For reference, my team on the LZ, ready for the next stage, is two cannons, two MGs, five lancers, and a single truck. Group two, reporting. Incoming enemy transport. Our base will be under assault again this stage and in way more locations than just the plateau. Let me blow up the mini-map a bit here. So the NP will be sending a land force over the road here. Our wall should be sufficient to handle it. They will also be sending in football forces here. Okay, that's not very helpful. Their landing spots will be here, here, behind our north wall here, near our main base here, and at factory number three, here. Each force will usually consist of three footballs of attack waves, and the majority, though not all, of the footballs will be carrying cyborg forces. Once the final unit from the final assault falls, the stage will end. As with Alpha 7, we don't have any text to research or units to build, so the abrupt end isn't a logistical concern. Structure under attack. The first cyborg team hits an MG bunker, which is ostensibly an anti-personnel weapon. Enemy transport detected. I promised last video to talk about cyborgs, and I will, but for now, let's just watch them fight with defenses designed specifically against them. Structure under attack. Incoming enemy transport. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Enemy transport detected. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack.
under attack. Incoming enemy transport. Structure under attack. 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 Assigned to commander. Enemy transport detected. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Incoming enemy transport. Structure under attack. 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 Enemy transport detected. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Incoming Structure under attack. 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 Group two reporting. Assigned to sensor. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Enemy transport detected. Structure under attack. The attackers from the northern road all spawn on the same square, which makes for an amusing situation. You can't see it, but I'm violently laughing right now. All of the tanks sitting on the same square does have an oddity. On the one hand, any weapon that does area damage is basically guaranteed to splash everything. On the other hand, weapons that don't do area damage are always absorbed by the top unit, meaning that all of the other tanks, which can still fire back easily, are covered from most direct fire until the top tank falls. This is why the Lancer Tower on the left goes down so fast. It got focus fired by the entire enemy cannon squad. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Enemy attack. Structure under 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 attack. Incoming enemy. If the sound effects from this large and powerful squad sound different, you aren't hearing things. Structure if you've been keeping attack. track of how research goes in this game, you can probably guess why, but I will neither confirm Structure nor confirm attack. your guess until next video. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Enemy transport detected. Structure under attack. Structure under attack.
Structure under attack. Incoming enemy transport. Structure under attack. 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 Enemy transport detected. Structure under attack. 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 Incoming enemy transport. Structure under attack. 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 Enemy transport detected. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Incoming enemy transport. Structure under attack. 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 Enemy transport detected. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Incoming enemy transport. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Enemy transport detected. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Incoming enemy transport. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. It's almost like my foreknowledge of this game helped prevent the NP from running rampant around the map. Maybe I should have said spoiler alert at the start of this walkthrough. I'll keep it in mind for if I ever make another series on my own personal YouTube channel. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. 
Incoming enemy transport. Unit under attack. One reporting. Structure under attack. 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 Enemy transport detected. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group one reporting. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Enemy transport detected. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group one reporting. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. At this point, the invasions are over and it's just mop up duty. I'll send my MBG around to the remaining tanks, passing by the repair bay on the way. It will take them a while to get there, so as I promised, let's talk about cyborgs. Are cyborgs worth it? The short answer is no. The long answer is no, because this is the campaign. As stated before, this game rewards having high experience units. Cyborgs, and really the infantry of most games, operate on a quantity over quality mindset. They can be used to overrun opposition, but there will be significant casualties while trying to do so. They simply don't pack the per unit punch or survivability of a vehicle. Even if you were to mix them into your tank based battle group for a combined arms approach, the fact is that they will die, and any cyborg loss is experience permanently unrecoverable. But again, this is the campaign. If you would like to see cyborgs in their native environment totally ruining your day, Feel free to play a multiplayer game against a half-decent opponent. If you are a half-decent opponent, feel free to post your in-game name in the comments so that newbies know when to auto-rage quit if they find themselves up against you. Structure under attack. 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 Power resource. Structure under attack. Structure under attack.
Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group 1 reporting. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. As the stage doesn't end until all units are dead, sometimes you will fend off every attack, but then keep playing. The most common cause of this is a unit that decided to not suicide against your defenses, and the most likely culprit is the sensor tank that landed with the enemy bombards. Once it runs out of bombard friends, it decides that moving isn't something it feels like doing anymore, and if it decides to stop in a narrow valley or alcove, you are going to have to go on a scavenger hunt for it. I got lucky as I ran by it on accident while my MBG was coming up to say hi to the final enemy cannon tank. Group 1 reporting. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. And once he falls, the stage will auto-end. The next stage puts you on a tight schedule, so be sure your next stage's team is sitting on the LZ, ready to go for Alpha 11. Unit. Objective accomplished.